So you haven't updated your antivirus in three years. It's okay. You also haven't updated your resume or your browser either. Let's all just agree your computer is basically a time capsule from 2016 with more viruses than a gas station toilet seat. But what actually happens when you don't update your antivirus? Like, is it really that bad? Short answer, yes. Long answer, also yes, but now with Russian hackers, zombie botnets, and probably a guy named Kevin who's mining crypto with your graphics card. Let's break this down. Number one, your antivirus is basically a bouncer who forgot what bad guys look like. Antivirus software works by identifying malicious files based on signatures, like a digital mugshot. Every time a new virus is discovered, your antivirus gets a little update, like, hey, this file pretending to be a tax form is actually trying to eat your hard drive. Without updates, it's like your antivirus is stuck in 2012. Oh, it's no. out here arresting Clippy from Microsoft Word and letting actual cyber criminals walk in like VIPs. Imagine hiring a security guard who still thinks AOL is cutting edge. That's your current situation. Number two, malware evolves faster than you can say. Oops, hackers don't sleep, they don't rest. They just keep inventing creative new ways to ruin your day, like ransomware that locks your files and demands payment in Dogecoin. New malware strains come out literally daily. It's like a never-ending Pokemon game, except instead of Pikachu, it's Trojan.win32. Outdated antivirus software is like showing up to a modern battlefield with a Nerf gun. Except the Nerf gun's also fake, and it's filled with malware. Number three, outdated software is a giant welcome mat for hackers. Antivirus updates don't just include virus definitions, they also patch up security holes. And yes, those holes can be exploited. Like, let's say you opened that cool free PDF converter from a sketchy site. If your antivirus hasn't been updated, it might totally miss the fact that the converter is quietly installing spyware that monitors your keystrokes. Every single one. So, congratulations. Now your password to everything is Hunter2, and four people in North Korea know it. Number four. You might be in a botnet right now and not even know it. When your antivirus isn't up to date, your computer might quietly become part of a botnet. A network of hijacked devices used for shady stuff like launching DDoS attacks, sending spam, or artificially boosting views on weird K-pop fan cams, and you wouldn't even know. Your computer might still work fine. It's just also moonlighting as a henchman in someone else's cybercrime operation. You, I just wanted to play Minecraft. Your PC, cool. Also, I helped take down a banking server in France last night. Number five, it gets worse if you combine it with other terrible decisions. Let's be honest, if you haven't updated your antivirus, chances are high you're also still using Windows 8. Downloading pirated stuff from sites with 12 pop-ups per click. Clicking on links that say, you want a free iPhone. Reusing the same password for everything, probably your pet's name with a one at the end. Not updating antivirus is bad. Not updating antivirus and doing all this? You're basically throwing a party and handing out your house keys to random strangers on the street and one of them is definitely named Admin137. Number six, you could lose everything and blame it on the printer. Eventually, it will catch up to you. You'll turn on your computer and realize all your files are encrypted. Your desktop background is now a skull, and there's a text file that says, we have your data, pay now, or kiss your cat photos goodbye. Cue the panic, cue the denial, cue you blaming the printer because it always acts weird before something bad happens. Meanwhile, your antivirus is just sitting in the corner like, I would have stopped it. If only I knew what it was. Number seven, the irony. Antivirus updates are free and take 10 seconds. Here's the part that hurts the most. Most antivirus updates are automatic. Or at worst, you click a button and wait for 10 seconds. But somehow you've managed to skip it. For years. Which is impressive, really. You've been dodging safety like it's a side quest in a video game. Except this game has no respawn, and losing means you have to explain to your boss why your work laptop is currently mining Bitcoin in Lithuanian. Not updating your antivirus isn't just lazy, it's basically giving the internet permission to ruin your life. You don't have to do much. You don't have to be a tech wizard. You just have to click the little update now button like your digital life depends on it. Because honestly, it kind of does. So go ahead, update that antivirus. It won't fix your terrible Wi-Fi or the fact that you still use Internet Explorer.
but at least you'll be slightly less of a walking security risk. You're welcome.